Well, it's about time for another vacuum save video, isn't it? Anyways, this is Intellitech Studios, back with another vacuum saved video. And for those who love the vacuum save series, there will be another vacuum save video shortly after this one. So, this is the mother load of all sorts of crap. And then the next vacuum save video will be a little bit more muted, a little bit more in control, more mellow, more workable. So this, my friend, the same one who I've been getting, my friend Justin, I've been getting all the vacuums from, from the last few videos, from the last several vacuum saved endeavors, uh, had a storage unit full of vacuums that he has accumulated since the last time I talked to him, which was about a month ago. And there's a lot of stuff, as you can see. So this has all been accumulating for a while. There's also some machines that were supposed to be in previous vacuum save videos that I didn't pick up at the time. So that includes this Hoover. That this is this I got last time. The Bissell Pro Heat I got last time, and this Eureka Boss Power Plus I got last time, but just didn't exactly pick them up yet. The reason being was because the Pro Heat, and I kind of regret not picking up the Pro Heat because whenever it was in the truck, the hose fell off and got drug along the concrete. So that's not good. But this Pro Heat's going to be sold. So yeah, it still sucks as that kind of devalues it a little bit, but it's not a collector collecting one, so I'm not worried about that too much. So, this Pro Heat, which also got a little chip on the front, I don't know if that was there before. Actually, not as heavy as I thought it would have, would have been, but pretty heavy duty. This uh, is also from the lot. Now, unfortunately, these two I can't test out right now for obvious reasons. The Eureka, the cord's chopped off. And this Hoover really aggravates me. It says free on it, so obviously they set it out, and this is an elite max capacity. But what aggravates me about this is that they cut the cord, but they didn't even take the cord. They just chopped it for no good reason. Even if the motor's bad, they didn't even take the cord but they just chopped the plug off. That is aggravating. I see no reason to do that. No reason whatsoever. So that's infuriating. But maybe I can splice this back together. But for now, that is a no-go as far as testing. So this Elite and this Eureka I still have the other blue Eureka over there. And there's the Black & Decker from this. There's that. And then also this, this is my boyfriend's Hoover floor mate, which he picked up at a Goodwill for $15. And I need to get a lower hose. Oh, that's not the right, that's the, yeah, that's the pedal release. So the lower hose on this machine is completely tore out. And I'm struggling to find a replacement hose for this. So if anyone knows where I can find a hose for an older floor mate, I believe this floor mate's from 04. Something to that effect. So otherwise it works, it just needs that lower hose. So I need to find a part for that. So that of course is in need of something. So. This little Pro Heat, I guess since this was in this lot, we'll try this one first. And of course this hose isn't on correctly. This is a long hose. I like how long this hose is. Of course that's just wrapped all the way around. I'll just set that over there for now. And we'll go ahead and plug this in and see if this catches fire. As usual, we plug stuff in and see if it catches fire. We're going to see, that's the power. Well, it seems to work. 
It has a bit of a smell, but it's not so badly strong. So that works. And I'm assuming you guys probably want to see the brushes. That's the filter in there. Brush looks good, honestly. Actually, well, bearings appear to be shot. Oops, nope, didn't want to do that. So I got two of these. Obviously the blue and black one is nicer one. And that's the Elite. Filter somewhere in there. Brush looks like that. Not ideal. Ooh, it's lighter than I thought it was. This feels like it would be heavier. Oh, also, I got this TV as well. And that chair. So, that works. Meaning it turns on and doesn't catch fire. So, so that's one down. And this one I'm probably going to sell. Although this, this compact one I might keep. Well, then again, it is, has a piece broken off of it. I don't know. I really don't need it. Steamers, I'm not really into collecting. I more so just collect normal vacuum cleaners. But this one appears to be pretty collectible because it's pretty old school. And again, some of that part cracked off, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know where the stickers even are on these, but this clearly looks vintage. This looks like an old school liftoff or a go vac or old school. Um, what are they called? Easy vac? One the, like the white and white and blue stick vac that's in the same color scheme as this. Is that Was that called the Easy Vac? I don't know. Well, either way. Again, lovely grounded prong. Plugs in. Has the hose. Has a little classic Power Force style switch. It works. Turns on. That's the pedal release. It's on floor cleaning. Latch works. So, there's that. So that works, and again, as in it runs. I guess I could flip it to tool cleaning and test the suction, but uh, well, I mean, I, I mean, maybe. I guess. I guess I could. Might as well. I guess these videos are supposed to be long and arduous. It's uh, seventy. It's eighty something degrees out here, so a lot of these are pretty warm. This one's obviously turned yellow due to it sitting in the sun for a bit. Turn that on. Has suction. So it has suction. Ugh. So that is those two carpet, Bissell carpet cleaners out of the way. And now we can move on to the standard vacuum cleaners. Oh boy, what do we try first? Um, well, this shark is looking kind of sad. So, I guess we'll give that one the attention first. If I can find the... Yeah, that's not great. I think I can pull this part off though, can I? Yes, I can. So I can just probably replace that. And, uh, yeah. Whew. All right, and we will see if this turns on. See, that's not going to do anything. Well, it works. So this is the Shark Navigator Lift Away Professional. It does work. It's just that it 
well has a busted forehead also has a bit of a smell but I think the reason they threw it out is the fact they can't even stand the damn thing up let alone use it on their carpets so ooh yeah you know what has a dog smell whenever the smell doesn't really start until after you shut the vacuum off but yeah next we've got oh, I got a dirt devil which I broke the latch on by accident so the latch is right there so that's my fault and this is a very heavy machine so it it falls with a thud like that you know that is not gonna fall down gracefully so we'll just lean that against this Bissell another friggin another power force helix and another power force helix and another navigator lift away uh, yeah you can tell this is uh, these, these are pretty pretty common so uh, so we're gonna pull the cord out so we can actually plug this thing in which I don't know if we're gonna want to but we're going to oh if we can plug it in the right way All right. There, oh, I just unplugged it. Genius. Of course, the cord is tangled perfectly around the wheel. All right, so now I can lean that against. It looks like that looks like a sanitaire handle. So, yeah. Where is the power button on this? It's right there. Well darn, that works. Brush appears to spin. Clearly has suction because the cyclone's spinning. I think they just threw it out because the cord's cut up and that latch is messed up. But it works. That one I'm probably not gonna keep, so. Also, you can see the turbo brush fell apart. But the other, I do have the other part of it. It's over there. You can see right there. So I can put that back together. So, that works. Hey, is that gonna. There we go. Oh, this video is getting long already. Why is that bin that color? I don't know why. Um, but that kind of attracts me to this one. Ooh, that handle is hot. I already have one of these T-series, series, series, series. I don't know why that this is this color. But is it supposed to be like that? It's the Elite. Or no, it's not the Elite. It's just the Rewind Plus. Multi-stage cyclonic. No loss of suction. Cord rewind. Onboard duels. Yada, yada, yada. What does a filter look like on this one? About what I would expect. Ooh, wow. That is sharp. Little pieces are broken. Some candy or something right there. Since I already have one of these, and I have obviously all the elites, the elite rewinds, this one's gonna get sold. I can already tell you I'm not gonna keep this one. But maybe I can. Oh, that's clogged. That is clogged. Yeah, well, also this is loose, loose for some reason. Whatever, let's see if this works. Ugh. Does this work? Well, that brush roll works. Sounds kind of scratchy. Probably needs a cleaning. Might have bad bearings. You can tell this is kind of softened up from all the heat. This one's missing the turbo brush caddy, unfortunately. I was hoping to get that for my other Elite. Or not Elite, but uh, T-Series. How's the suction?
Yeah, that works. Um, it's got some cosmetic damage, but it is functional. Just clogged and needs some TLC. I actually don't even know what TLC means, but that's what everyone says whenever a vacuum needs refurbishing or love, so to speak. People always say, oh, just need some TLC. I don't know what that means. I thought TLC stood for the learning channel, but okay. So that needs some tilk, but otherwise works. So obviously that was thrown out because of a clog and the, the hose being disconnected. They probably just clogged it, tried to fix it, didn't want to screw with it and threw it out. So I sold the last one for 50, so if I can sell that one for 50, that pretty much paid for the whole lot because I paid 60 for all these. This Power Force Helix, the handle is loose. They didn't put the screws in all the way. Happens all the time. How's the brush hole on this? Bearings on these are always shot, uh, but this one actually seems okay. This is a... That's a 1240, so that's a that's an 8 amp. Wait, what? I thought the 1240 was uh, 10 amp, and I thought the the 12B1 was 8 amp. Well, apparently not, because this one is 8 amp, and it's a 1240 from 2013. And this one's complete, has all the attachments. So that's pretty sweet. So, because I still have that other Helix, which I think that one was a 12B1. That one I smashed, but I regret smashing that because I could have just sold that for like five bucks. Whatever, I don't like breaking things anymore, honestly. But what's done is done. So, uh, long hair and sweat do, do not mix. Yeah, okay. So now we'll try out this Power Force Helix. By the way, this Power Force Helix, which is obviously a 2191 based on the little window on the front, has a chopped cord. So this one we can't do anything with because someone cut the cord off of it. So I'll have to put a new cord on that if I want to test that. 2191, 8 amps. Pretty self-explanatory. Brush roll. Uh, the bearings on bearings on this brush roller are well they were seized. It felt like they were seized. Now the brush roll sounds feels fine. Well, okay. Can't do anything about that. For now, again, I'll have to put a new cord, a new cord on it. I think I'm running out of cords. I'll have to actually buy more cords. Because if all those need cords, I only have like, I well actually I think I have three cords, so I might be able to put a cord on each of these. Or hopefully I can just reuse this cord, but I doubt it. We will see. I obviously chopped the cord off this one after I burnt out the motor. So, yeah, and this air swivel I'm going to sell at some point. This is the one with the bad motor. So let's try out this uh, 1240 with the loose handle. You would think that they would put the handle on correctly, but I guess they probably just didn't want to screw with it anymore. You wouldn't, hard to believe people are that lazy. What is this, maybe a clog? Yeah, so this one is clogged, but the clog is not in the hoses. The clog is the filters. So clearly, someone who physically takes good care of their vacuum, but just doesn't maintain it properly. And yep, that is why. It did still manage to pick that up, though, surprisingly. So, still picked up. But you can see, that filter is just gone. Although it did a decent job at keeping the pre-motor filter clean, so the motor is healthy. This did its job at stopping everything from getting into the motor. So that's nice to see. So this one is certainly healthy and will be able to continue cleaning once more. It doesn't look like the screws are rusted either. 
just a bit dusty. Whenever I got it, the latch wasn't, uh, oops, the latch wasn't in all the way. The latch for the dirt container. Did I not put this in all the way? There we go. Kind of have to hold this bottom piece and push it up while you put it in so it actually seals properly. Although that seal is a very loose term. Power for cleaning never loses suction. Oh, really? Looks to me like that lost suction. But yeah, so that's another, another freaking Bissell. So I have another older style Power Force Helix. I don't have the 1700 anymore. Although I kind of wish I had kept that, even though I do not have the space for it. But I have the purple one, so. Um, and I'll eventually sell that too. Maybe I'll do a video comparing this one and the other one. I don't know. I'm running out of uh, space for vacuums, even though I had still have plenty of video ideas to do. Since I have so many. These are going to stay out here until further notice. Until I can sell some more. I'm going to have to just slash the prices on my other vacuums to get them moved out quickly. Because I do not have the tolerance or space for this stuff. So, these are getting listed. Some of these are getting listed as soon as this video goes up. Because some of these I just do not have the space for. So, uh, this Hoover, I don't think this is the correct plate, but I could be wrong. This is missing the brush roll and the belt. So, but this is an older style Hoover Encore Supreme. Very lightweight, obviously, because it's just a bag on a stick. It's barely more complex than an Oric. I kind of wish they still made these, because if they can still make Oryx, then I can certainly justify them still making these old Hoovers. But whatever. Let's plug this sucker in. Yeah. Okay. Where's that power switch? Oh, wow. That does not turn on at all. That's unfortunate. So no power on that. It almost feels like the power switch is stuck. So no Hoover Encore Supreme working this day. <sighs> Running out of vacuum. So we got three more. I guess we'll go from lowest end to highest end, shall we? So we got this Dirt Devil. We got another Dirt Devil Power Max. This time, Power Max Pet. So this is the older version of the Power Max Pet, because I have the current Power Max Pet that's purple, but otherwise the same vacuum. So this one, this little piece is about to break off. So try this one out. Ugh. So we're going to see if this one works, as there is sweat dripping into my eyes. Okay, so, this is getting plugged in, and uh, okay. Well, this one is clogged and smells like wet dog. Ain't that a beautiful rhyme? Because the brush is working, it's agitating, but it's kicking all the dust out because there's no suction to pick it up. So I'm going to guess someone didn't clean the filter. That looks really weird, though. Is That doesn't look like the other Dirt Devils. Or uh, there's a clog somewhere. So that one will be fixed and promptly sold. So yeah, it's missing the combo tool, but it does have the extension wand, which I'll probably just, yeah, probably just keep that for my other Dirt Devil. We'll see. So, uh, next, another Shark Navigator lift away. You know, I used to hate these things, but honestly, I've come to appreciate them a lot more nowadays, because obviously, 
I mean, think about it. If these were so crappy and bad, then people wouldn't be buying them. So, obviously there's something good about these things because people keep friggin' buying them. This one is a NV351. I believe it, so this is the, mid, the middle model. There's the 350, 351, and 352. This is the 351. This is the second to newest version of the Navigator Liftaway. Seems to work. Is that hose busted? No, looks fine to me. I'm gonna guess clogged filters is why they threw this out. I have some other Navigator Liftaway parts over there, so if this has a bad brush or something, that's an easy quick swap and then sell this. I still have my last Navigator Liftaway also, but I still have not sold yet, even though I marked it all the way down to 60. So, uh, yeah. This one I'll sell for a little bit more if I do sell it because it actually has the bracket. It's in a little bit better condition already. So this one might sell for like 80, I don't know. So, we'll check this one. <sighs> and, uh... Alright. So, brush works. Vacuum is functional. Just clogged. So that clog could be the filters or an actual blockage in the machine. I'm gonna wager that's probably the filters. Why don't we take a quick look? I see dust flying out just from me undoing those latches, so... Oh, there's no filter in there at all. Well, that's odd. I don't know why these filters always go missing. So that is missing a filter. So it will need a filter. Does it have the post motor filter? Or the HEPA filter? Because I believe this is HEPA. If I can point the camera at the actual friggin' vacuum. Yes, it does have the HEPA filter. So it needs a cleaning and it needs a pre-motor filter. But otherwise it's complete. At least complete regarding onboard attachments. Obviously these machines come with a couple other attachments, but it's otherwise in good condition. Okay, so, one more vacuum, and then I can go inside and upload this while I chug a water and sit in front of an air conditioner. So, we have a Dyson, you can tell I don't usually go outside much, we have a Dyson DC-07, all floors. Got another friggin' 07. This is my fourth 07 that I have currently, but uh, that second little reach that I bought is going back to the seller on eBay, because the clutch is bad and there's a few other problems with it so uh, but this is only all floors I have so once I get rid of that low reach I'll have a low reach and an original and now an all floors it's in the bare, it's in the bare floor setting I'm gonna assume it's also missing this I don't know why it's missing that I don't know maybe they try to unclog it and they lost it and just decided to throw it out instead of just buying that part for 10 bucks whatever their loss is my gain uh, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, the ratings plate for these are on the bottom. Also, this uh, plug has some nastiness on it. Oh, that all came off easily. Nothing. A little, little, little wash can't cure. Let's see. Well, this, this, this bitch works. I'm, dang it, I cussed again. Kids watch this. Well, this female dog works. So, um, and also, for those wondering, this is not, this is obviously not the one that I fixed for a customer a while ago because that one was a 2002 model. This one obviously isn't because it doesn't say HEPA back to save. It's got the extra little piece on the uh, cyclone assembly and the actual, you know, the actual cyclone assembly is different. So, uh, this is a different vacuum. This is pretty much the same one that my mom had. 